To be an Eddie Stobart driver, you have to be prepared for anything. Blues and twos over there. It looks like a lorry's gone over. If I make a sudden movement, I'm either going to hit a car outside of me or I'm going to hit the barrier. Even the best tanker drivers, they all have accidents. Their 3,000 truckers are well known for their smart green uniforms, strict code of conduct, and making deliveries with military precision. We don't want red lights. Get in tight. Come on. Fine lines make a big difference. So it's no surprise one in ten are ex army. Stobart is managed and driven by ex forces. They work long hours, spend weeks away from home, and are used to extreme pressure. Oh, they shut the bloody road because the white don't again. Welcome to life as a trucker. Look at this. The pressure's on now, mate. The pressure's on. All to help keep Britain running. For trampers like Eric, being on the road all week can come at a cost. He's missed Valentine's Day and Andrea isn't happy. It's not for me for two days. Do you know I'm seriously worried? So anyway, so I thought about it and I think I should buy her some flowers. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy some flowers and hopefully I'll put in a good mood for the weekend. Hiya. I didn't get me part of any flowers. So I'm just hoping you can help me out big time, eh? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely gorgeous, yeah. She'll love them. Fantastic, yes. Cheers. And there you go. Can, can I have a receipt, please, if you don't mind? Just so as you frozen back at me, I can say, well, here you are. You owe me that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. Cheers, now. Bye. 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 I hope this will work, yeah. This should do. I mean, look at that. It'll melt any woman's heart, won't it? Yeah? I'm going to see that? Mm, maybe not, so. Uh. A nervous Eric heads back to the depot to surprise his unsuspecting partner. Oh, she frozen back at me. Hmm? She's in the office right now, I've just seen her. Let's give her a little wave, but there's no reaction. So it's not even good, is it? Well, there goes nothing. Let's go. Eric pulls Andrea out of work to give her his peace offering. I felt you were upset on Monday when I left, not giving you anything for Valentine's Day. And I don't do it, but I just felt, I just felt a little bit upset. So to make up for it... Oh, a nice bunch of flowers. Lovely, thank you. Am I forgiven? No. Okay. <laughs> Not with a bunch of flowers. <laughs> Maybe a nice weekend away. That'd be nice. It's a start. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you. Happy belated Valentine's. Thank you. It seems the power of flowers has done the job. The reaction was better than I thought. You normally growl and snarl at me. But, uh, I just have to remember next year, won't I? But Eric's grand gesture isn't enough for Andrea. What day is this? You know, we've been engaged for some time. And we hmm. often talk about getting married. How do you feel about actually setting the date? In camera. <laughs> Andrea! <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Just like to say, we decided to set the date. We've been engaged now for nine, nine years. Yeah. So we decided next year we're going to get married. Date to be announced. That's if Andrea will have me. I love you. Oh. <laughs> We've been engaged now for nine years. And I feel now it's time. We feel now is the time's right to uh, take that final plunge. So I'm going to do it next year. Day to be announced. Watch this space. God almighty. <laughs> <laughs>